I don't know about you. My first takeaway, where the fuck was anybody to step up for the rookie? I don't care if it's game one. I don't care if it's the preseason. I don't care if I'm old, if, if I'm old school. Matthew Nyes goes down. I don't care if it's clean or dirty. Somebody's got to step up to the plate. Nobody did. Yeah, and they probably didn't notice because it wasn't like this huge hit. They're just kind of scrumming, and then you slow it down and look at it, and he's kind of mauling them and whatnot. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Like it's, it's that initial, you know, you wrap around, and it's that initial shot, I think. When they went down to the ice, he didn't bash his head off the ice or anything like that. But uh, I think I just don't think anyone noticed, like, what the hell is going on. And then all of a sudden, the puck's going the other way. No one's looking back. They got tablets all over the bench, there. though. They got tablets on the bench. Oh, yeah. After seeing it after the fact, yeah, I mean, go up and challenge Sam Bennett. But what will happen is Sam will keep his gloves on and you'll take a penalty. Yeah. So, I mean, they're worried about that and they don't have a lot of personnel to do that. I would love it if someone went and challenged him and they shed him squared off and beat the hell out of him and said, you don't ever fucking run one of our guys again. That'd be beautiful. But it's just probably yeah. not going to happen. And it's unfortunate that he's hurt. Um, kind of surprised that leads to a concussion while you're wearing a helmet. But I don't know what he's like or if it's precautionary. I, how yeah. can it be when it's the playoffs? It's just it's stunning that. This guy's hurt. He's a young, strong kid. And if he's not playing on Sunday, it's a huge loss, man. It's it's frustrating. And, like, I would just like to see one of the Leafs play that hard and fucking bury a guy and, you know, do a little extra. But it just it just seems like the mentality's off again. And you have to play every game now like it's game seven because you've put yourself in that position. Go maul guys like that. Crush everyone. Be Play pissed off. I would love to see the Maple Leafs play pissed off like a big team of bullies. And it's just like, I've never even seen that. That's the beauty of the Stanley Cup playoffs, man, to your point. Like, there's going to be adversity. There's going to be scrutiny. There's going to be moments where you don't get your way. Can you push through? And that's the big time question for the Maple Leafs moving forward to game three and four. And again, it's on the road after losing the first two games at the Mortuary. I called it last night, uh, Scotiabank Arena, man. Just what a, got to do something. But Assuming Nice can't play for game three, and again, we're just, our speculation, maybe it's Conky related, maybe it's not. It's so disappointed, disappointing, man. Like, he, he's been so good, such a such a boost to this offense and this team, and he gets hurt uh, on a sort of harmless play. Really wasn't crazy of the play by Sam Bennett. He's a mucky player. He plays the game hard. Like, I've got no issues with Sam Bennett, first and foremost. I just, I, I want somebody to step up to the plate and say, you're not doing that to us, but maybe I'm old school in that approach. I mean, we talked about that, you know, mauling behind the net on Nyes. That, that, that play in front of the net on uh, Bunting is as bad as well, anything that we've seen, and we didn't even touch yeah. on it. I mean, he damn near cross-checks him right in the fucking head and drops him, and then he's looking around, and I think he knows he might have a penalty, so he's like, oh, let me just lay, like, that's a deep with all your body weight on his spine where there's no protection there, and it's just like, geez, that's, like, if if Bunting did that to a guy, there would be yeah. a press release today. There's no doubt about it, about his suspension. Not a doubt in my mind. There is a press release, but it's a $5,000 fine. That's exactly what I was just going to bring up. So Sam Bennett's been fined 5 k for cross-checking Michael Bunting. But you're so right. If that's mm -hmm. Michael Bunting, hasta la vista, you're done for the playoffs. 100%. If it was many people, but they just got... You know, they just had Paul Maurice bitching about how awful the uh, the one-sided officiating is, and they take all the penalties. So now they're going to get the benefit of the doubt. Um, the mm -hmm. fact that he took Nyes out behind the net apparently wasn't taken into effect. Ten five thousand dollars. I could give a shit if you find him a hundred thousand dollars. It doesn't matter to the hockey millions. itself. Yeah, just pisses him off. But um, you know, a game you don't get a game like. I just think about the different teams and the different players. You'd get a game for that all day long. You, what's a game suspension, man? You can't do that. But I don't know. I'm in a bad mood and uh, five grand, whatever, man. It's frustrating. I really think if that was Michael Bunting, you would just get punished for doing that. It was it was 100%. I'm just kind of going to try to hurt this guy.